Henry and the Fox Hunt Written and told by Kiefer Adams Whenever the work on the Fat Controller's railway was too much, Henry the Green Engine would take some time away with his driver and fireman to his favourite forest on the other side of the island. Henry always loved coming here. After the trees started growing back again, following a recent storm, Henry's trips to the forest were more special than ever before. Recently, Henry had made friends with a small fox cub, which was a rare breed. His driver and fireman had nicknamed the cub Emmanuel, and whenever he trotted up to Henry when he came to the forest, they would offer him their sandwiches and watch him play around Henry until it was time to leave. But soon, Henry learned that Emmanuel's future was almost going to be shattered. One morning, Henry was just about to leave for his forest. He was talking to Duck and Gordon about the day's work when a very nervous Toby arrived. Is everything all right? asked Duck. I'm afraid not, replied Toby. We've received some fox hunters. Fox hunters? asked Duck. What are they? Ugh, ruthless men who think fox hunting is a sport grunted Gordon. They ride on horseback in smart white and red suits with beagle dogs chasing after the foxes ahead of them. It's disgraceful. This made Henry feel worried. Without another word, he ventured off to the forest. He knew all too well that the fox hunters would be after Emmanuel. Meanwhile, Edward had dropped off some supplies for Trevor at the vicarage orchard. Toby had also informed him about the fox hunters, and he was deeply concerned for Henry. He was just about to leave and make a report to the fat controller about the situation, when suddenly a loud bugle horn echoed in the distance. That's not good, shuddered Trevor. Edward looked on, and from afar he saw four men on horseback galloping towards the forest, with three beagles charging after them. That's definitely not a good sign, said Edward. Hopefully Henry will protect that fox cub. Edward started to puff away. Fox cub? spluttered Trevor. What fox cub? But Edward was already gone. By this time, Henry had finally arrived at his forest. He was worried for Emmanuel and hoped he could stop the fox hunters from getting him. He was just figuring out what to do when he heard a voice. Henry! Henry looked up ahead and there was Terence the tractor, eager to let him know of something urgent. Terence, gasped Henry, have you seen Emmanuel? He trotted across the tracks a few minutes ago, cried Terence. He's heading for the forest clearing. Then the fox hunters will chase him there, said Henry firmly, but not before I get there first. Pumping his pistons and blowing his whistle with great confidence, Henry darted for the opening of the forest. Terence hoped that Henry would get there in time. Henry charged out of the forest as fast as his wheels could carry him. He just arrived into the clearing when Emmanuel scrambled up the hill and down towards him. Henry's driver and fireman coaxed the fox cub to hide behind Henry while they waited for the fox hunters. Eventually, the beagles came into view, followed by the men. Get that cub! shouted the leader of the hunt. They charged towards Henry. Oh no you don't! hissed Henry bravely. He closed his eyes and let out a great cloud of steam. One horse reared up with fear, the beagles were frightened, and the other horsemen stopped. Back the other way, shouted the leader. This engine's protecting the cub. They scurried off as fast as they could, but luckily Terence's owner had managed to call the authorities, and the fox hunters were arrested. Henry heaved a sigh of relief as Emmanuel snuggled against his buffer beam safe from the hunt. That evening, 
Henry's driver and fireman decided to give him a polish in the forest. He rightfully deserved it. They were just finishing up when Thomas arrived. Well done, Henry, he congratulated. Terence told me everything. Henry smiled. What about the hunters, he asked. Edwards told me that the fat controllers sent them away in disgrace, replied Thomas. Henry was very relieved. The two engines were just about to leave when they heard a yipping sound. Henry's eyes lit up as Emmanuel appeared. He scurried up to Henry and licked his buffer as if to thank him. You have quite a remarkable fox cub, Henry, smiled Thomas. And I'll protect him and all the creatures of the forest with my life, said Henry. And that was a promise that he was willing to keep. <laughs>